What's up guys, my name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics, and today I got something special for you. We have a Spaz 12 gauge shotgun. Somebody let me borrow this. Uh, you probably won't see it after today. You might, but I doubt it. So we're going to get as much use out of it as we can today. Uh, we're going to go out in the woods and have some fun with this thing, but before we do, I'm going to show you how this uh, shotgun functions. If you want to fast forward to the shooting, you're not going to hurt my feelings any, but for those of you who want to see how this thing works, stick around. So we're going to start with the stock. Of course, the folding stock, if you want to unfold it, hit this button, folds down. There's another button right here, folds down again. You have a nice steel butt plate. So, uh, you know, lots of cushion when you're shooting this thing. So that should feel really nice today when we're shooting it. Um, this hook here, I have been told that this is for one arm shooting. So you're supposed to take that hook, push down on it, it turns, and then it hooks to the back of your arm, and now you can shoot this thing with one arm uh, with ease, I guess. We'll, we'll see how that works. So let's put this back. All right. Now, this gun has two safeties. So, you've got one safety here. See, it says S. You flip this around, and there's the F. So, here we're on safe. I'll flip it around to fire. And you have another safety on the other side. It's supposed to be a quick safety. You flip that down. So, now, if this one's on fire, you can have this one in operation, and you just got to just Flick it with that finger and then you're ready to rock and roll on your trigger. Uh, to load this thing is kind of uh, awkward. This is the bolt release right here and you cannot load it unless you hold that bolt release down. So I have some dummy rounds. And you're going to hold that bolt release down and now you can load it. Okay. Now, semi-automatic and pump action. So, right now, we are on semi-automatic. Now, how do I know that, you ask? Well, there are two lines here. There's a line with an A, automatic, and a line here for the M for manual. The edge of your foregrip lines up with which setting it's on. So right now, it's on automatic. If you want to change it, you push this button, and now we can pull down, and we're in manual. Push the button again, pull back up, and we're in automatic. Uh, while I'm here, go string sights. And you can see here that it has a heat shield already built in on the gun. And the magazine tube holds eight rounds and nine if you put one in the chamber. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? Uh, oh, only chambered in two and three quarter inch shells. Cannot shoot three inch shells. And I'll show you how the bolt release works. So, there's the bolt release. Now, when this thing goes dry, the bolt will lock back. So we got one in there. Whoops. All right, now our bolt slot back. So if you want to release the bolt, just hit that button, kind of like an AR-15, and your bolt goes forward. That is pretty much it. Not a whole lot more I can tell you about this thing. Uh, there is one button on there that I don't know. I'm not sure what it does. Maybe one of you can tell me what it does. Is this button right here. I don't know what that is. I researched a little bit and still couldn't figure out what it was. So if you know, let me know what this mystery button does. So now we're going to load up, we're going to head out to the woods, and we're going to have some fun with this Spaz 12 gauge. All right, it's time to have some fun. I got this thing loaded up with some slugs. We've got eight rounds in the tube, but then I went ahead and put one in the chamber. So now we've got nine rounds. 
Uh, I have it set to semi-automatic, and we're going to go ahead and get one thing out of the way, and we're going to just dump nine slugs out of this thing as fast as we can. I'm sure my shoulder is going to love me for this. That was awesome. Okay, I've got it set to manual now, so now it's gonna be pump. Uh, I've got a target set up. It's like a 12 by 12 paper target. We're at 10 yards. I just wanna figure out where my point of aim is with this. Then we're gonna move back to 25 yards and see how accurate we can be. All right, I was holding here. All my shots are right here. Pretty sure that's a wadding. Now let's move back to 25 yards and see where we hit. Now we're back at 25 yards. We've got another 12 by 12 inch paper target set up. Got this set back to semi-automatic. Let's see where we hit. I think I pulled that one. Got a jam. There we go. We'll go ahead and shoot it too. Now let's see if we can hit that watermelon. Okay, I wanted to see how accurate the spas would be at 25 yards. Wanted to fire a five shot group, but I'm human and I pulled a shot. Felt it as soon as I pulled the trigger, I was like, ah man, so I, I knew I pulled it. So we went ahead and fired one more so we'd have five accurate shots. I didn't want to count that against the gun. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So I'd say the spas does pretty good at 25 yards. Now let's have some fun. We've got nine rounds of double lot buck and some clay pigeons. Got a jam already. There we go. Got a jam already. There we go. <laughs> now we've got a bunch of different targets. We've got red cabbage, watermelon, water jugs, cantaloupe, and we've got about eight rounds of double hot buck. Let's make a mess. Got a jam. Another jam. Another jam.
Got a jam. Another jam. Another jam. So the Spaz has this little hook here and it's for one arm shooting. So you have something to hang on to the back of your arm. Let's see if we can do anything with it. Got a jam. Another jam. Another jam. Another jam. Oh. Another jam. Another jam. Hey, hey, you get back up there. Just for that. All right, that's it. Jam pretty much on every shot. Okay, guys, we're going to finish up the rest of our targets with some slugs, and we're going to do some pump action because. I'm tired of this thing jamming. Well, crap, we knocked all our targets off the table. Hole there. there now that's fun all right guys so the shotgun jammed a lot today and uh, so I looked into it and it turns out you have to use full power loads with the spas 12 gauge or else it won't cycle when it's in semi-automatic all the slugs that we used today were low recoil tactical slugs. That's all I had to shoot. I had a bunch of them, so that's what we used. And I think that's a reason that it jammed as much as it did today, especially when using one hand, it jammed every time. I'm pretty sure that's because it wasn't a full power load. If it was a full power slug, maybe it would have cycled better. Now, our buckshot, when I used double lot buck, those were full power loads. So, uh, I think we still had a jam or two with that. So that may just be the gun. Maybe it needs to be cleaned. I don't know. But it did jam a lot. But I would like to use this shotgun again and use all full power loads and see if we had as many problems. But anyways, regardless, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, the question of the day. I didn't forget about it. The Spaz 12 gauge is an iconic shotgun. It was in a lot of action movies. And I think it's most known for Jurassic Park. So my question is, if you knew you were going to be in Jurassic Park and you were going to have dinosaurs chasing you and you had to pick a weapon, what would it be? But you can't pick any weapon because I know somebody's going to be like, I'd have a bazooka or I'd have a minigun. None of that. It's either got to be a rifle, it can be semi-automatic or automatic, or a shotgun, or if you just want a pistol, then pick a pistol. But I'd probably go with a rifle, but it's got to be one of those three. What gun would you pick? if you knew you were going to be in Jurassic Park. Hey, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're a new subscriber, don't forget to hit the little bell. It's going to give you notifications when we upload new videos. And if you really enjoyed the video today, share it with your friends. I'm trying to hit that 10,000 subscriber mark, and I really need your help to do it. If you like the videos, share them and ask them to subscribe too. 
Uh, if you're interested in Kentucky Bliss's clothing, there's a link in the description down below that will take you to our shop. Also, links in the description down below that will take you to our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't forget to check us out over there, too. Once again, guys, my name is Scott. You're watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.